Okay, um, hello everyone. Um, I hope you're all doing well, by the way. Okay, all right, so in this video, we're going to be talking about variables, right? All right, now before I start, let me just quickly mention that in the different parts of a Java program video that I, you know, made it, I think the third or fourth video, we talked about the fact that your program is going to have one public class, right? So this is a public class. And we talked about the fact that your program is also going to have a main method, right? Now, I, yeah, I'm just saying this because I just want to repeat that point that every Java program you write from now onwards is going to have a public class and it's also going to have a main method, right? One public class and then one main method. Okay, so now let's talk about variables. All right, so what are variables? Now, a variable, simply put, okay, is, is a storage location in the memory of your computer, right? So in other words, it's the space in the memory of your computer that is given a name so that you can ref restore to it, sorry re you, so that you can refer to it so that it's just a space in the memory of your computer that can get, that can hold information given a name so that you can refer to it right right so it's just a way for the computer to keep track of information right so in real life i can come to you or your friend can come to you and tell you what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 Right now, the, now the person can say, you know what? Think about that, and then ten minutes later, I'll come back and find out and get the answer from you. Right now, ten minutes later, it's it's mo most likely you 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 remember because the person told you what's one plus two plus plus three. Most likely, now, sometimes you may forget, but most likely you remember because the person told you. So that number was actually stored in your memory in your in your brain. One plus two plus three. You can you can you can think through or you can try to recollect what the person said and, and you you most likely remember that the person told you one, one plus two plus three. Now it's possible again you you forget it's possible, but most likely you remember. And if you remember you can just use those numbers. You can basically do the math and then give the person the answer. Right? So in other words, when the person told you that that information, that one two plus two plus three it was it was stored in your memory, somewhere in your memory. You don't even have an idea, but you can you can magically refer to it, think, and then recollect, and then get, get those numbers. Now, it's the same thing in a computer, right? You can store information, okay, on your computer in the memory. And then, and then so basically, w once you store that information, it's just a way for the computer to keep track of that information and use it, right? So I'm going to type in something here. Just observe it for now, right? So... Okay, now this word you see here is just just a simple word, right? It's, it's just the word number. Now number is just a name that I came up with. Okay, it's not any special name. It's just a name that I came up with. I can call it anything, but I'm, I'm in this case I just use number. Now all I'm saying with this word number is, hey, I'm telling the computer to computer. Please reserve a space in the memory of your uh, in, the, in basically please reserve a space in your memory. And then call that space number so that I can refer to it, so that I can ask you, hey, um, what's in what's stored in that space that is called number? Okay, I'm just asking the computer to please, well, <laughs> well, not necessarily in that way, but I'm just saying please, so so we can have a have a sense of what's happening. So I'm saying please store. Oh, sorry, sorry, not store. Please create or reserve a space in your memory, and then call it number so that I can refer to it. All right. Now this word here, int, stands for integer, right? And all I'm I'm saying with this int is computer. Um, in the space that I asked you asked you to reserve for me, please only design it design it in such a way that or prepare it in such a way that only integers can be stored in that space, right? So all I'm saying with this statement is computer, please reserve a space in your memory name that space number and only allow integers to be stored in them right now this semicolon is just to terminate the program now remember we, we said that um, your statement in, in programming have to be terminated with terminated with, with a semicolon now, not all statements are terminated with a semicolon um, you know we, we mentioned that in the different parts of a java program video if you haven't watched that please um, feel free to take a look at it but all we're saying here is please reserve a space in memory Please name it number and only allow integers to be stored in that space. Now this process 
over here is called variable declaration okay variable declaration in other words I am declaring a variable I am telling the computer the name of the variable and what to store in the variable okay or the type of data to store in the variable all right I'm going to go ahead and type in another statement just observe right okay now all I'm saying with this statement is computer in the space that I asked you to kindly create for me or reserve for me the space that you you I told you to please name number and and only allow integers to be stored in there in that space please put in the number two for me right that's that's what I'm saying with this statement I'm saying over here I asked the computer to reserve this spot for me name it number and only only allow integers over here I'm saying computer please put in the number two for me in that space that I asked you to reserve for me and again I'm terminating this line right this is just to mean that I'm done with the statement this is just to mean I'm done with the statement it's just a, it's, it's like a period or a full stop um, at the end of each sentence in English in English right this is just to say I'm done a semicolon all right all right so I've told the computer in that space please put in the number two now what's on the right over here is what's being stored on the left here so in other words I am putting the number two into number right now this process over here is called variable initialization in other words I'm initializing this variable I am defining or I'm setting the initial value of this of this variable I'm saying in this in this variable please put in the, the number two this is the first value the initial value you should put in this number now variables you know as you can tell from the name they can change you see they're variable all right so just like you told your friend what's it what's the sum sum or please add one plus two plus three Let's, let's say 10 minutes 10 minutes later you came back and said you know what um, the 1 plus 2 plus 3 I, I already know, know the answer can you please change it to 1 plus 4 plus 3 okay now you've changed the person has changed it from 1 1 plus 2 plus 3 to 1 plus 4 plus 3 the 2 has changed to 4 in other words at first you could recollect that if your friend told you what's 1 plus 2 plus 3 now your friend came back and said, "Okay, can you please change it from one plus one plus two plus three to one plus four plus three? Now you can you can think through that, and then in your memory you can remember that oh your pe the person told you one plus two plus three first, so, and and then now he's telling you or he or she's telling you to change it to one plus four plus three. You can ch do that swap so quickly in your in your me memory, and then you know you can do it because you f you remember the first thing the person told you and you and you know the second thing the person is telling you and you can just." change it or replace it and then do the math and give the person or your friend the answer the same way variables can change the same way you can go back to the computer and say okay but computer instead of two changes to four right all right so what we've done here is we've told the computer please reserve a space in the memory of your computer name it number allow integers to be stored only integers to be stored in that number and then please put in the number four for me now we'll definitely go into the details of variables this is just to give you an overview this is not even touching too much on the details of it we'll definitely go into how to you know naming it declaring it initialize we'll definitely get into the details of that but this is just so you can have an overview an idea of how variables uh, work what they are all right so now the computer has this in memory I can now tell the computer hey computer Please show me what's stored in that n variable number. Now I can see it on the screen over here, right? But in a program, when, when I'm running a program necessarily, I can't. I'm I'm not really seeing. If I, if I'm not looking at a code, right, I'm not really seeing it, right? But over here, I know what what it what it does. Over here, I can tell. Um, but it, it, you know, just just so I don't go off track here, I can now say in the computer, please tell me what is stored in the variable in 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 that space in your memory called number. I can say system dot out dot print ln and we know that ln over here means it's going to print out whatever you tell it to print out and then it's going to move the position from the end of that line to the next line so that whatever comes after this after whatever we're telling uh, whatever we're telling it to print now is going to um, uh, basically show on the next line all right now we talked about that more in the in the, in the system that out print ln video 
And again, we didn't we didn't really go into the details, but we mentioned the fact that a system is, a, is, some, is something called a class. Out is something called an object, which belongs to the system class. And print ln is something called a method, which okay belongs to the out object. Okay, and the, this, the out object and the print ln method method they all belong to the system class we talked about the fact that a method is uh, uh, a series of related code okay one or more wrapped up together somehow and then given a name and anytime you use that name or you refer to that name it does the uh, the, the the series of code okay in the in the block of that method or basically the the series of code that is in that method is is executed or in other words it's run or it's yeah, it's run. Okay, basically, th then those instructions are are run by the computer. Not d just not to go off track here. This is just to you know tell you what what this is. And the p the purpose and th basically those me these methods do something. The purpose of you can think of them as buttons. The purpose of the print ln method is to print out whatever you tell you to print out, and then move the position from where it's at to the next line. Right. So. Again, all this is in the part of a Java program, and I think naturally the specifics of it is in a system that I'll print Ellen video. Okay, so it prints out the argument. Okay, now for, for, forget about the two quotation. It prints out the argument that, that you specify, or basically it prints out whatever you tell you to, whatever you type into the, the par these parentheses, these two parentheses here. Whatever you type here is going to be printed, right? All right, so. Again, in other words, I can say print out. Okay, now this is this is basically telling the computer to print out what is stored in the in the variable number. I can do this, right? Now I'm going to compile this so that it's translated down to machine language, machine language. And because it's translated down to machine language now, compilation completed. I can run it because now the computer understands this, and we can see that over here it prints out four. I'm asking the computer, please print out what's stored in the the variable number, right? Now, you, I'm sure you'd be surprised why I didn't surround this with double quotations, but don't worry about that. We'll talk about that more in the next video and and in future videos. But all we all we've done here is we've told the computer, please reserve a space for us. Call it number. Please only allow allow integers to be stored in there. Put in the number four and tell us what's stored in that in that space called number. And we can see when we run it, it tells us. Let me just compile this again. It tell it tells us that four is stored in number. Okay. All right. So this is just an overview of variables. We will definitely get into the details of it in future videos coming. Okay. And um, you you understand it hopefully. So. If you have any questions, I'm, I, I hope you you um you 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 have you now have an idea or an overview of it. So if you have a if you have a question or any questions, please comment down below, and I'll do everything to respond to them. Um, thank you very much for watching. As always, take care take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time in the next video. Okay, bye bye.